Morning friends, hello. Welcome back to the weekly vlog. It is Wednesday, May 31st. I should have started this on like Monday or yesterday, but I just like totally forgot. Whatever, we're starting it today. There's gonna be a quick little update because I have to go to work. It's like eight o'clock in the morning right now. And I have um, my ACLS class today. I'm gonna go do some little CPR, Heimlich maneuver, you know, all the learning, the life-saving things. So I have an ACLS class today. And then after that, I need to go to the gym and then I'm planning on reading my book. Let me talk about the book that I am still reading for the third weekly vlog in a row. And that is tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. Why? I think I've just come to an accepting point at where I want to weekly vlog every week because I really enjoy it and they're like some of my favorite videos to watch, but I can't read a book in one week. So we're just doing weekly vlogs and then expanding the books to fit the vlogs. If you wanna watch me have final thoughts on a book, you're just gonna have to watch multiple weekly vlogs to figure out my journey with that book. But I can just catch you up on um, how I'm feeling about this book right now. I'm loving it. It's gonna be a five stars for sure. It's truly amazing. It's literally everything I could want in a book. So I'm just over halfway through right now. There's a lot of conflict going on. Okay, Sadie and Sam are, are getting their button heads a little bit, but it's in a good way because you know that there's like, you knew that there was gonna be conflict at some point. If you don't know what this book is about, let me just briefly explain it because I've explained it like for so many times over all the weekly vlogs. Basically it is about two friends who meet as kids in a hospital and they bond over playing video games in the hospital because they're there all the time. And eventually as they grow older, they end up you know, continuing to have these passion for video games and then they both become video game developers and end up creating video games together. And this concept is just so amazing to me. Like I've mentioned before, I'm like really into cozy gaming right now and my Nintendo Switch and just like, I didn't realize that there were so many games out there that could actually pertain to me. They help like my anxiety and stuff. This book is like everything I could ever ask for right now. It, it's filling every interest that I have. It's a literary fiction. It's a friendship generational saga and it's got video games. So what more could I ask for? Um, I really think this book is gonna be like, a five star plus it's like so 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 good and i'm just loving every second of me reading this so um that's where we're at this 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 book is where we're at and then i have no idea what i'm gonna pick up next if i fin end up finishing this book in this vlog we'll just have to wait and see but as far as plans go for today like i said going to work and then I'm gonna go work out and then I'm gonna come back and probably either read my book or like edit a video for later this week. Uh, I have Friday off. Since I have the ACLS day today, my day off got moved to Friday, which is fun because then I get a three day weekend. Um, and we're also going to Reed's family's cabin this weekend. So maybe you'll see a little B-roll of that. I don't know, it's gonna be a good week. We have a lot of like more fun summer plans and stuff like that and just enjoying the weather. It's like 90 degrees outside and and Minnesota, it's either negative 20 or 90 degrees. You know, just love it. <laughs> okay, so I'll see you guys in the next clip and enjoy the vlog. Peace. up guys guess who is cpr certified this girl i could save some lives right now acls went really quickly this morning which was awesome and i was able to get out a little bit early so i'm gonna like try and do some things today uh such as reading and maybe editing and going to the gym i mean the three classic things that i do with all of my spare time <laughs> I just want to say, if you guys are not CPR certified, I just want to put it out in the universe to go get CPR certified, okay? It really saves people's lives. The class doesn't take that long and like it's it can be someone's life-saving measure, okay? I'm just putting that out there as a healthcare worker. Go get CPR certified. It does update every few years. If you haven't been CPR certified in like the last 
I don't know, five years or whatever, just go do it again because things have changed. So that's my little plug for being a good civilian. <laughs> One other thing I forgot to talk about this morning um, is that Vanderpump's reunion is on tonight and I'm gonna watch it guys. I'm gonna watch it. I am caught up with all the drama and like, oh my God, the first part of the reunion could not peel my eyes away from that TV. And I'm sure the second part's gonna be just as good. It is a wild scandal guys, like what? So yeah, that reunion is gonna be so good and I can't wait to watch it tonight. But I feel like for the rest of the day, I'm going to go to the gym and I'm kind of feeling like a little walk right now. I think I might just go walk on the treadmill for a little while and then I want to go hang out. The, my gym has like a rooftop pool. I know it's super bougie. Just don't ask, okay? I'm going to go on the rooftop and then probably either edit or read my book or something along those lines because I got shit to do for this YouTube channel. I am trying to be more productive in terms of like when I'm feeling really motivated like this, I wanna try and crank out some videos so I don't go with, you know, like weeks in between uploading and stuff. So yeah, that is the plan and... I mean, obviously I haven't read anything. I'm still, I just got back from doing work stuff. So I will see you guys in the next clip. Peace. Wanna drop on one Wanna move my feet Wanna drop on one Wanna move my feet Wanna drop on one It is Thursday, June 1st, cracking open a little sparkling water, as one does. Just wanted to do a little check-in. I haven't read it. Well, no, no, that's a lie. I did read some yesterday. I think I read like two chapters and it's getting a little bit more heartfelt, which I'm loving. But I just wanted to do a little check-in because I realized after filming yesterday's update, I didn't actually give you all of the plans that I'm doing this weekend. I forgot a majorly important part. I'm doing a 24 hour readathon with my friends. They are doing a 24 hour readathon on going from Saturday morning to Sunday morning, but we are going up to Reed's family's cabin on Saturday. So instead of doing that, I'm going to do my readathon starting tomorrow into Saturday. And you know what? I'm just gonna do my best. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you would know I try my best on 24 hour readathons, okay? I really, truly try. We're just gonna see what we can accomplish. I've learned to not put so much pressure on myself with these because every time I put a lot of pressure on myself to be like, oh, I'm gonna read like six books, I literally can maybe finish one book. And if I can finish one book, if I can finish tomorrow, 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 I would be happy with that. Like, that's all I need to do, okay? I've noticed when I tend to like really try and push myself, I can end up pushing myself into a reading slump afterwards because I'm like burned out from reading for the 24 hours. You know what? We just take it one step at a time and we do what we can here on this channel, okay? So tomorrow, yeah, I'm gonna be starting the 24 hour readathon, I don't know, sometime in the morning maybe. And then just, the goal is to just try and read for 24 hours. I'm definitely gonna go to the gym. I'm definitely gonna run errands. Like there's stuff I have to do tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow is my day off. It got moved to a Friday, so I get a three-day weekend. I freaking love it. Yeah, just gonna be like hanging out this weekend, and I'm really excited. We've been like doing something the last like three weekends, and it'll be nice to just like relax and not have to like do a whole lot of things, you know? Like we can just enjoy being at home and go outside and stuff. It is literally 90 degrees outside too, and like if you are from somewhere who where it gets like really cold a lot, you would understand that you tend to feel some guilt when 
when it's really nice outside and you want to stay inside, but I don't know, I'm just feeling like I just want to stay inside right now. You know what I mean? So just wanted to get that little check in. I'm probably gonna do some reading later tonight. I also have to edit a video to upload tomorrow. I have a few videos planned for the next few weeks, so I'm really hopeful I can stick to a two video a week schedule, but not making any promises to myself because I've done that before and we all know how that goes. It doesn't happen, okay, okay. I will check in with you guys later. Oh my God, wait. I didn't talk about the Vanderpump Rules finale. No, it was a reunion part two. To be honest with you, it wasn't that good. Part one was way better. They still haven't brought out Raquel. They brought her out at the very end and then they were like, next week on the Vanderpump reunion. But oh my God, do I have thoughts. Let's talk in the comments. If people wanna discuss, we will talk in the comments because I don't wanna like give spoilers to people who haven't watched it yet. Okay, cool. If you know, you know. I hope that just conveyed everything that I was trying to tell you through my eyes. <laughs> okay, everyone. Talk to you in the next clip. Peace! Today is Friday, June 2nd, what year? 2023, the year of our Lord 2023. Let me just tell you what's been going on. You know how I said I was going to do a 24 hour readathon? I failed so miserably. I feel like I was like really ADHD today, could not focus. I was really distracted. My phone got the best of me. I literally could not concentrate. I was just all over the place doing like planning stuff. The 24 hour readathon did not work out in my favor, but I'm not chalking it up to a complete L. I am going to try to read something tonight, but I was going to do an actual video for it and I just like completely failed. So I'm just scrapping the video and just gonna put some stuff into the weekly vlog or something. So here's the deal. I read a little bit of Rhythm of War this morning while I was like making lunch and stuff. I literally read one chapter. So like it was, I don't know, like 10 pages or something like that. There's an art fair going on like right down the street. So Reed and I just went to go check it out. Um, and it was so cool. And I got like a few little things I just wanted to show you. So first of all, I did get a cute little sticker for my Kindle. It says reads well with others. It's so adorable. Um, the same artist had this really beautiful drawing of like a book, kind of like a book library room or like a home library. And there were like people, I don't know, in the same kind of art style. And there were people reading in it and it was so beautiful, but it was a thousand dollars. And I was like, I can't spend a thousand dollars on that. Um, but then I did get a really cool poster and I'm super excited about this. I want to show you because I thought it was super beautiful. I am obsessed with this. <laughs> I, it's not anyone. It's just a woman, a sad girl. And I want to put it in my like library room. I don't know. I just felt like it spoke to me when I saw it. I thought it was really beautiful. Um, and I want to like frame it and put it in like the book room. I really enjoyed kind of walking around and looking at art. I'm not like a big, I don't know, like art person in general, but we do have a few paintings. Those are mostly Reed's findings, but yeah, I, I don't know. I thought it was really cool and it was a fun, it was a fun little time. It was actually a pretty big art fair too. But as far as rest of the night goes, I am gonna read. I am going to read tonight. So my friends wanted to do some reading sprints around like, I don't know, seven o'clock or something. And I'm hoping I can be up for it. Not up, like a wake up. Obviously I'm gonna be awake up, but like sometimes I get really restless and stuff like that. And it's it's been one of those days. So I'm hoping that like my body kind of just kind of calms down a little bit by the time we get to that. Cause sometimes I sc start on reading sprints and then I'm like, I am just so restless. I can't sit here and read a book. Do I have ADHD? I don't know. Yeah, so I'm hoping I'll be able to do that. And then if not, I just kind of want to read the whole evening, maybe put an audio book 
book. I'll maybe like work on my Lego set or something or we'll just kind of see how the evening takes us. And then the plan was to go to Reed's family's cabin tomorrow. But we probably won't go until later in the evening or afternoon if we end up going. We, I don't know. It's kind of up in the air for 100% going tomorrow or not, but we're definitely going on Sunday. So just wanted to give you that update. I apologize for my 24 hour readathon fail. You know, I thought it was going to be a cute, fun video, but like I just didn't have it in me. And I think I need to get better at my focus. You know, I did a meditation today that was supposed to help with focus and I do think it helped. I don't know, maybe I just need to go to the gym and like get some energy out or something along those lines, but I'm just, I'm just too distracted right now. I'm too distracted to read, but I'm gonna do my best and I'm gonna try because I do wanna read tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. Okay, I am gonna go and eat dinner and then read. <sighs> I'm not even done with it, I still have 100 pages left. Something just happened. <laughs> Oh, I'm not well. I'm not well. I just like. <laughs> I'm just not... Oh my god. I just keep thinking about it. Okay. I keep crying. <laughs> this is how you know books are good. You know what I, mean? <laughs> I still have 100 pages left. I just keep crying. <laughs> this is what these character character driven novels do to me. This is why I love books like this. Okay, so here was, here was what happened. I just went down the stairs and I was like, I'm just gonna like sit down. Let me just do five minutes of reading. I read for five minutes and then I kept going and then I kept going and then I kept going and then I hit a point in the book and I was like, I can't stop, I can't stop, I can't stop. So I just read, uh, I think over 70 pages in the last hour and a half and like I have a hundred pages left but I think I might need a break because I feel like it's just gonna get even more sad. Oh I'm just crying guys. I'm just crying. I'm just gonna keep reading. Um I think I just need to I just need to sit in this for a little bit. I'll give you an update when I'm done but this is like a 500 star. <laughs> this might be my favorite book yet that I read for the year. Okay I'll update you guys later if not I don't know if I'm actually gonna finish tonight because I still have 100 pages left. I'm just gonna, just gonna keep going. All right, love it. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Don't I look just absolutely stunning here? Um, what's up? It is Sunday, nope, Saturday. Saturday, May 3rd, May 3rd, June 3rd. What am I even saying? Okay, so let's have a quick chat. It is nine o'clock in the morning. I woke up an hour ago and I was planning on doing just like a little booktube work, like importing some footage, whatever. It ended up taking an hour because my stupid iPhone didn't want to import something. I don't know, it's so annoying. It took way too long. I haven't even had coffee yet. I am making a cold brew. This has been sitting in the fridge overnight. And I'm gonna do a little cold brew coffee and it's so nice outside. It's like 75 degrees. I'm gonna go sit outside and drink my coffee and finish tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. Last night I ended up not reading anymore because I was really emotional and I was like, I need a break. So I ended up watching like three episodes of Succession and I'm still on season three. I'm at the end of season three, but oh my God, that TV show is so good. I want everyone's comments down below on what you think of Succession if you've watched it. The mental health representation is amazing. It's like sad. It's like really sad to watch. And just and the show is being done so well. I mean, the whole scenario and family dynamics between like the Roy family, like it's so messed up. I would hope no one ever gets treated the way that these people treat each other. They are the most horrible people ever. I can't look away. And I mean, like, there's so much that goes into it with like the fashion and like, I don't know, everything. It is so good. It is so good. It's a big dramatic TV show though. Okay, so I'm gonna make this coffee and then I'm just gonna go sit outside and read my book and then cry my little eyes out. You know what I mean? <laughs> I was so sad yesterday and I just needed something to like make me not sad. So we're just gonna dive right back into the emotion and finish the book and then I'll pick out a new book maybe for later today. We're also planning on going to Reed's family's cabin this afternoon. Hopefully I will get a little bit of reading done. Normally I don't get a ton of reading when I'm done when I'm up there, but we'll see. Um, okay, gonna make the coffee and then let's go read.
What up guys? Hi. It is currently 11.30 on Saturday. I haven't finished it yet. I have 40 pages left, but we have to get going to Reed's family's cabin, but I wanted to give an update on what I read this morning. Guys. <sighs> I, I feel like I'm speechless. I almost feel like I have to collect my thoughts on it because I feel so moved by it, honestly. It's, ugh. Just, just look up the trigger warnings. I think that that should be something that people do going into this book because there are a few things in this book that can be really triggering. But I feel like there's so much beauty in this book. There is so much. And there's like little Easter eggs about stuff and the way that the characters are not conventionally driven people by any means. Like they really do not agree with conventions of society and stuff like that. And I just really appreciate the viewpoints that we're getting, especially from Sadie's character. I don't know. I just feel like I can really see myself in her. I feel feel like I want to say things without saying too much, but I just feel like I'm really, really, really connecting with them. And they're not just one dimensional characters. They have nuance to them and you can really feel their emotions and feelings and just like all of the different sides that they have to them. And I just feel like I'm relating to all of them so wonderfully. Gosh, I just feel so attached to them. And the book is so much more than just about video games. It's a story about friendship and the seasons that people go through with friendships. Your, your friendship is going to ebb and flow and your relationship will change as you grow older and stuff, especially when someone is your like working partner and whatnot. But I just feel like things are being done so well. They're talking about like pretty deep things like mental health issues, grief, disabilities, just a bunch of different things and a bunch of different representation. And I really love this. I bet I'm gonna cry in the last 50 pages again. I wanna like collect my thoughts as a whole on this, but I feel like this is honestly one of the best books I've read in a really, really long time. I think it came to me at the perfect time. The way that you know, you get an Easter egg for something at the beginning and it's continuing to show up throughout the entirety of the story. It's That's something that really gets me and really makes me connect to a book and it's just a 20 billion stars. But I'm going to finish this book today for sure. I probably will not give an update right after I finish it because I'm going to be with Reed's family, but I am bringing a few other books um, to the cabin to start reading once I'm done with this one, if I have time to read. Not sure what I'm actually gonna be in the mood for, but I'm gonna be bringing Trust. This is like a historical fiction based in 1920s, kind of similar vibes to Succession. I'm bringing Patricia Wants to Cuddle, which is a reality TV show, really light read, kind of like thriller with queer representation. And then I have Everything I Know About Love by Dolly Alderton. This is a memoir about a woman being in her 30s. So I don't know what exactly I'm gonna be in the mood to read. I kind of have a feeling I'm gonna wanna read this because this book, Tomorrow, 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 was so deep and like emotional and I feel like I'm just gonna need a respite from that for a second so I'm thinking Patricia Wants to Cuddle is probably gonna be the move. Also really wanting to read an LGBTQIA plus representation book uh, for Pride Month and I think this might be the pick but I gotta start this one soon because I have a book club in a few weeks. So <laughs> That's the plan. Um, I will see you guys in the next check-in. It'll probably be tomorrow after I get home but maybe I'll get some b-roll footage or something like that and I will see you guys later. Peace out. everyone okay it is sunday june 4th and i just got back from the cabin i don't know two hours ago or so i was working on editing a video going up on tuesday but i did end up finishing tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow yesterday and did i shed a tear or two oh my god did you see me i was just bawling I mean, five stars, I've already told you five stars. I feel like, again, top contender for one of the books of the year. I literally had to like write down all of my thoughts about this book because I finished the book and I was like so moved by it. I wanna talk about it, okay? I want to talk about my thoughts. My first biggest takeaway from this book and one of like the biggest themes about this book is that this book is a book about love, but not romantic love. And it's a book about friendship and how Two people can be best friends, but they can go through some really difficult times together. And it's you choosing to work on the relationship and choosing to be there for the other person that will ultimately help you like survive really difficult times together. The relationship that the two main characters had with one another, it was just so powerful. And this book really shows like the beauty of relationships, loving another person, 
100% for who they are despite all of their flaws and you don't have to love them romantically. You know, growing with someone in a relationship, becoming friends with someone, and just ultimately wanting the best for that other person, like no matter what scenario, I just, I just felt like this book really showcased the beauty of relationships and of friendships and how it might not always be sunshines and roses. It might be really hard to be friends with someone for a while. People can do you wrong. People make mistakes. We're all human. And if you're able to always just be there for the other person, no matter what, relationships can be just such a beautiful thing. And I don't know if that made any sense, but I just feel like it was so so well done. I haven't read a book that has showcased a friendship so well like that in I don't even know if ever. It was, it was so beautiful. Another thing, the representation was incredible in this book too. I really, really, really like, liked it, um, especially in talking about like chronic pain, chronic injury, chronic illness, mental health, disability. They did have LGBTQ representation in here. And I feel like this book just had a more non-traditional representation and it had quite a bit a variety of of it as well. The writing again was really good, really easy to read. I did feel like it got, it did have a lull, probably around the midpoint, but then once you hit a little bit past the midpoint, it was like you couldn't stop reading. It was it was just so good and so intriguing and like oh, my heart was torn out of my chest. I also loved how the games that Sadie and Sam created were like creations of their own existence too. Like they put so much of their own identity into what they had created. And that's just like a beautiful thing about life. Also representing video games and not just like a shooter kind of way. I feel like often video games get a bad rep for always being like about guns and fighting and stuff. But in this book, they showcased a lot of games and a lot of ways to play games that were not necessarily shooting games. Like, yeah, you can have combat, but like, or you can also not, you can literally have like farming games and like just life sims and like all these fun little things that people don't even know about that is like a huge part of the gaming industry and that was hugely showcased in here which I loved because that's like my favorite genre of game. Overall would recommend this if you are in, into a character driven novel or looking for a story about friendship, a story not necessarily about like romantic love but of just of loving another person wholeheartedly and seeing people go through difficult times together as friends and it was just so good. I just really loved it. I think this is probably going to be one of the top two books that I will read for this year. So after I finished this I did start Patricia Wants to Cuddle and guys loving it. Loving it. This is the kind of book I want right now. It's pretty much based off The Bachelor. Currently, we are following, it's like a multi POV. You're following the top four contestants on the show called The Catch. It's essentially The Bachelor. They have day dates, AKA one-on-one -on -one dates. They give corsages instead of roses. It's it's basically The Bachelor. Um, but they're going to this like remote island and I'm guessing like a murder or like some kind of thrilling aspect happens on this remote island. Uh, it's giving like Agatha Christie vibes, like reality TV show Agatha Christie vibes. I am just so into it, <laughs> like so into it because I've, like I said, I used to just love The Bachelor and I love any kind of reality TV and it's so easy to read. Like you don't even have to think about it while you're reading it. You're just reading it and it's a TV show playing in your mind. I'm I'm really, really enjoying it. I think I'm on, what page am I on, 40? Yeah, I'm on page 40 right now. It's going super fast too. Like page 40 is this. I've already read that much and there's not that much left. So I think this is gonna be like a fun little summer vibe. It's piqued my interest so far. So enjoying this too. I mean, not sure what I'm gonna give it, but you know what? It's just a fun flirty time. So yeah, that was the update I wanna give. We just had like a nice little relaxing weekend. And in terms of the rest of the night, I'm probably going to edit my video and then hopefully gonna read more of this over the next few days. I will let you guys know my thoughts. I don't know necessarily if I can finish it by the time this vlog will be over, but I'm gonna do my best. So that's, I guess the update. Just gonna go like relax now and drink some water cause I'm really dehydrated. It's like literally 90 degrees outside and we spent all morning outside like on the boat. It was so fun, but I am really freaking dehydrated. I also think I got a little sunburn too, which is not great. Gotta stay out of that sun. You know, I have porcelain freaking skin and if I don't want to get skin cancer, I got sunscreen all day. So see you guys in the next update. Bye. What's up everyone? How's it going? I am balancing my camera. <laughs> on the back of a chair, okay? This is unsafe. I should have 
ended my vlog yesterday. I don't know why I didn't. So it's currently Monday, June 5th today. Yep. You know what? I should have just ended the vlog yesterday. I'm really, truly trying to get better at vlogging. Like I want these to be like staple, staple videos on my channel. I'm still trying to figure it out because I've been wanting these last few videos to be like full weeks, but I tend to be starting my videos, my vlogs on like a Wednesday. It's not working. I just need to like start them on Mondays and end them on Sundays. Like I just need to be more cutthroat about it. So we're just going to do a little tie over. Um, I should have just ended it yesterday because I literally haven't read anything today. It was a stressful day at work, SOS, and haven't read anything. And I'm trying to edit the last week's vlog and upload it for either tomorrow or Wednesday. But I kind of wanted to give a little bit of a talking update because why not? Y'all, my plants, oh, they be looking dry as hell, okay? My plants be dying. <laughs> Okay, note to self after this, we need to water them. But I just wanted to give a little talking update. Yeah, I wanted to talk to you guys about like where, like my goals for what I'm doing next on my channel and stuff. And one of my number one goals, my number one goals is to try and be more consistent about uploading. I tend to not be like super planned about, I mean, I like plan ish, but I'm not regimented about it. I like don't have a really set schedule and I'm really trying to be better about that. I really want to implement more uh, weekly reading vlogs. Like I have been really, really loving just like vlogging my life lately. Even if I takes me three weeks to read a book and you have to watch me read a book over a bunch of different vlogs. Like, I don't know. I kind of just don't care anymore. <laughs> like people seem to comment all the time. Like, Hey, we don't care how many books to read. Just we like your content. So I'm just trying to like let go of my insecurities and be more present with you guys and my viewers and be honest and open about like how my life is going, how my reading's going and just letting you guys in a little bit more on my life, you know? I don't know. I also think it's fun to have like a little bit of a video diary just for like me and like read to like go back and look on. I think it's just a cool concept and it's something fun. All that to say is that I'm really trying to put more effort and time into uploading weekly vlogs. Like I said, they're really fun to make and that's what I want my channel to go towards. So my goal going forward is to either upload a weekly reading vlog on Tuesdays or Wednesdays. And then fingers crossed, I'm not like over super overwhelmed at work or anything like that, but I would love to be able to upload a Friday video or a Sunday video that's more like either bookish, like sit down me talking to a camera or whatever, or like a productive day in the life vlog or some kind of like come book shopping with me, you know, something along those lines that's like more like classic booktube themed. Despite Despite being on booktube for over a year and a half at this point, I'm still trying to like really narrow in on myself as a content creator and figure out where I want to take this, what I want to do with it, and how I can better be consistent with content given my other life factors, like my job and spending time with my family and friends and all that kind of stuff. I'm still just trying to figure out how this best fits into my life. Do you know what I mean? Um, so it's been kind of a journey, I guess. Having this YouTube channel is honestly one of the best things I've ever done. And I'm just so proud of myself that I've actually stuck with it for this long. Like, like that in itself is something to be really proud of. And just in reflecting on how far I've come, even in just this last year of a year and a half, I feel like I'm finding who I am on this platform and really just continuing to want to connect with my viewers and bring you guys into my life and also talk about books, but also represent the slow readers out there. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, that's kind of where I'm headed. If you guys have any like suggestions or anything about what you want to see in the future going forward in terms of my content and stuff, I would absolutely love to hear your um, opinions and constructive feedback. I would love to hear it. If you've made it this far in the video, just leave a plant emoji because my plants need some tender love and care. We really got to do some work on these plants. I hope you guys have a wonderful night or day or wherever you're at. Until next time, peace and love, babies. Bye.